After years of scamming their fans and not paying their bills, the Ace family home is headed towards eviction. So let's get into it. As you guys know, the Ace family is the largest family channel here on YouTube. We've been talking about the fact that their home has been under foreclosure, and today we finally find out the fate of their million dollar home. Their home has been stuck in the auction phase of the foreclosure process, and the auction date has been changing, it's been postponed twice, but today it's all come to an end. So the Ace Family Home was auctioned off today and nobody wanted to buy it because nobody's got $9 million laying around to spend on this house. And as you guys can see, the sales results are back to beneficiary, which means the bank now owns the Ace Family Home. Let me just remind you that Austin said that this whole foreclosure situation and eviction situation was all lies and rumors. His wife, Catherine, also said these were lies as well. So how can we trust these people when they are blatantly lying to the public about their house going under foreclosure? And this situation in particular is all public. There are public records out there, so they can't lie their way out of it. Okay, Catherine, there's a lot of rumors that uh, your house is getting foreclosed. What do you have to say about that? It's not true. It's not true? No, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. There's a website that you guys can visit named Stocks, and pretty much you can look up all of the information about their foreclosure on this site. And because their house is back to the beneficiary, it looks like Five Arch Funding Corporation, which is pretty much a company that gives out loans, is now the owner of the Ace Family Home. And I want you guys to keep in mind that this home was built under the Ace Hat collection. So it's like, it's weird because it's kind of like a business property because the business took out the loan. So it's not like Austin and Catherine are being evicted, but rather the business is being evicted from the property. And I was actually talking to my friend earlier and I asked her, do you think someone's gonna buy the home today? Like, do you think it's gonna be auctioned off? And she said, hell no. Because if you look at the home itself, it is beautiful. I mean, it's a million dollar home. But if you look at the location, it's kind of in a random spot. I mean, there are nice homes around the Ace Family home, like million dollar homes. But who wants to buy a nine million dollar home in a neighborhood where there are a bunch of one million dollar homes when in California, you can go and find a beautiful neighborhood with multi million dollar mansions. So it's a weird location for the Ace Family to build this home. And now they're kind of stuck with it. Well, they're not stuck with it. The bank is stuck with it. If you guys don't understand the foreclosure process, pretty much the Ace family borrowed money from this five art company to build this house. They weren't paying their bills. So now the five art company wants their money back. Uh, Ace family did not have the money. So they're taking the home. Phase one of the foreclosure process is payment default. So pretty much the Ace family didn't pay their bills on time. So this is phase one. You're entering into foreclosure. This is actually a really lovely chart that my friend sent to me. So as you guys can see, it says notice of default, which is what we just talked about. And the second step in the foreclosure process is notice of sale. This public notice gave the Ace family 30 days to make everything better. And if they don't, they're gonna start the foreclosure process. As you guys know, the Ace family didn't make it better. So the notice of default was made public. And that's when we learned that their home was gonna be foreclosed. Now we're at the third phase of the foreclosure process which is notice of trustee sale. The rules around this notice change from state to state, but here is the notice of trustee sale for the Ace family home, and it's pretty much letting the public know that this home is gonna be sold. Here's the second page of that notice, and as you guys can see, they estimated a whopping $9.3 million that the Ace family owned. I mean, that is so much money. I don't understand why people don't live within their means. I mean, I, I just can't get it, because even when my credit card gets a little too high. I start feeling anxiety and depression. I can't imagine how the Ace family is feeling right now. Now their home is at the fifth phase of the foreclosure process, which is real estate owned, which is pretty much what the Ace family home is now. It is REO'd, which means it is owed by the bank. So earlier today, the Ace family home went up for foreclosure and people actually joined and got together to go and auction on the home, which nobody actually went and purchased the house, 
but there were some paparazzis and YouTubers who went and visited the location. As you guys can see, the Hollywood Fix went to go and report on the auction, and here is some footage from their visit. So it sold for how much? It, isn't, it didn't sell. I announced it, it and didn't? I'm selling it right now. Okay. With no bids, robbery reverts back to the beneficiary. That's it now. Now it's official. Back to bed. So yes, there were people there to go and auction on the home, but nobody really has the money to go and do so. Thank you, The Hollywood Fix, for that footage. Go and check out their channel below. So yeah, nobody wanted to go and spend their uh, entire life savings on this house. So now the home is going to head to the eviction phase, which is phase six in the foreclosure process. Because the home is back to beneficiary, it's owned by five arcs. So it looks like the new owner has been named and they can figure figure out what they want to do with the home. They have to give an eviction notice to the Ace family to get out of there. So after foreclosure, whoever buys your home can't just go and change the locks out. The new homeowner must serve you with a three day notice to quit, which means get out of there. And if they don't, they will start the formal eviction process. So once a home has been foreclosed, there's typically a redemption period. So the Ace family could go and try to save everything if Austin could cough up $9 million. But in California, there is no redemption period. So it looks like the Ace family won't be getting out of this one because they can't go and buy back their property after the foreclosure sale like they could in a judicial foreclosure. So there are different types of foreclosures. Some are judicial, some are not. In California, there are not judicial foreclosures, so the Ace family can't go and save themselves on this one. So now the Ace family home is randomly owned by some company called Five Arch, and I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with it, but I'm assuming they're going to serve an eviction notice. As I mentioned earlier, Five Arc is the company that gave the Ace family money to go and build this home. Five Arc is a pretty established corporation. They're all over the United States and they have been helping people by giving them loans to go and build uh, business properties or home properties or things like that. We know so much about the Ace family foreclosure because everything has been posted online. It's all public. But when it comes to them being evicted from their home, I don't believe eviction notices are made public. I'm pretty sure they're not. So we're not actually going to know when the Ace family are going to be evicted, which is really interesting to think about because like, okay, could it be like this week? Could it be like next week? We really don't know. I guess it's up to five arc, but uh, I wish, I mean, I wish it was public, but we're going to see happen because I mean the Ace family have been living in that home and there's going to be a day when they stop posting there or maybe some moving trucks are spotted or who knows but I honestly feel really bad for their family for their children that they have to go through this but I don't really feel bad for Austin or Catherine because they dug their own grave and they just should have paid their bills or lived within their means or just stopped screwing people over. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here is my email if you have any other video ideas for me. I do have a P.O. Box package item to open from Samantha. And it looks like she's like, oh, oh, located in, um, on the West Coast. I don't want to say your state because I don't want to like dox you. But also, I was just there not that long ago. Let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Hopefully, there's a letter in here somewhere. Whoa. My dog's kind of like, what is going on over there? Oh, wow. This is so sweet. I love the packaging of it all. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay. So, um, it looks like the note is attached to the package itself. And it says, non, non EV. Nani V. Maybe that's her. Oh, that's her shop. Shop Nani V, which I will list everything below. Let's see if I can get this. Oh my gosh, how do I get this off? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Also, my chin is looking big because I did have a procedure done to it. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hi Sloan, my name is Samantha and I am a longtime subscriber. Aw, thank you. As a stay at home mom to two babies under two. Oh my gosh, wow. I decided to follow my dreams and open my t-shirt shop. My shop is centered around mental health and self love. As someone who struggled with postpartum depression, these are things that are close to my heart. I hope you love your new sweater. Oh my gosh, check out shop uh, Nanny, Nanny V on Etsy. Your subscribers will get 15% off with code S L O A N. Wow. Thank you so much, Samantha. This is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and check out her sweater. I'm so excited for this and I'm so glad that you are. Wow. Uh, look how official you're following your dreams. This is so amazing. Wow. I'm so proud of you. This is so cute. Let's see. Like, 
Oh, it doesn't say which size it is. I wonder what size you think I am. I am a large, though, if people know. Actually, this is definitely going to fit me. Look how cute. Uh, good karma. My aesthetic. Such a vibe. I can totally imagine this with, like, um, like a button-up shirt under with a collar coming out and wearing it in a video soon. Thank you so much, Samantha. This is so sweet. I really appreciate it. Go and check out her shop and use my code Sloan, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.